Hi, my name is Abhishek and I've installed Synogen Mod 13 on my Xiaomi Redmi Note 4G. Synogen Mod 13 is a custom ROM based on Android Marshmallow and comes up with a lot of features along with what you get in the stock Marshmallow. So if you just go into the settings and yeah, see the Android version is 6.0.1 which is the latest version of the Android Marshmallow and the Synogen Mod version is 13.0. It's an unofficial build. And but it is very stable, so I'm using it. So the Synogen Mod 13 has an advantage that it comes up with extra customizations that the Android Marshmallow doesn't offer. So first of all is that we can choose whether we want an on-screen keys or not. So I do not like the way the hardware keys are given by the Xiaomi and the way they function. So I can just disable them and enable the on-screen keys. And even if you like the hardware keys, then there are some things for you. So you can choose how long the hardware keys will switch on or how long will they be illuminated before they switch off. And they can also control the brightness of the on-screen keys and you can customize how long they will be awake before they switch off. And if you turn on the on-screen keys, then there are other options such as you can enable the left-handed mode. So if you are a left-handed person and you this feature will be very helpful for you other than that you can choose whether the power button will end the call or not or you can choose whether the volume button is going to unlock the phone or not and that's something which is very nice other than this we have the features in the status bar so you can choose uh, where your clock appears so you can choose whether the clock will appear on the right left or center as you like or you can completely hide the clock if you do not want the clock to be displayed entirely. I like the, I like the center version, so I'm going to put it that way. You can choose whether the battery appears in a traditional icon or a circle or simply a text if you want to. You can hide the battery icon entirely if you do not like it, like I've just hidden it, but I like the circle one, so I'm going to put it back. You can choose whether you want to display the weather information on your notification area or not. So see, I've turned it on and it's showing the current weather in Delhi. You can turn it off if you do not like. You can choose whether you want to display the battery percentage or not. You can put it inside the icon or outside the icon as you wish. Or you can completely hide it if you do not want the battery percentage to be displayed. Other than that, you can uh, also have a quick pull down feature which is very nice I like it so with the quick pull down feature turned on swiping from the right will directly take you to the notification toggles and there we go and if you swipe from the left it's just gonna show you the notifications that are there so that's a good thing so you save a time down there that's a good feature that they have added other than that the apps are movable to the storage external storage so see i have you using a 32 gb memory card and i've put some apps on the memory card and they are working very fine so that's something which is nice you can put apps to the external memory card and since 8 gb is not very much to use i am very 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 happy with this feature other than this we have the developer feed options uh, in the developer upper mode there's one nice feature and in fact, there are two nice features that I like. One is that this ROM is pre-rooted, so you don't have to install third-party apps to root your device. You can simply go to root access and enable it if you want, or you can disable it anytime if you do not want the root access anymore. And the other good feature that I was talking about was the multi-window feature. And in the multi-window feature, I can snap multiple windows at the same time. So yeah, here is the multiple window. And if you enable the multiple window, I can snap two windows side by side. So let's just try this one out. So I'm just going to snap Google Chrome with the Google app. And let's open Google app. And now I'm going to snap these two windows side by side. So. There we go. So I've snapped the Google app along with the Google Chrome. Similarly, you can snap other applications as well if you want to. And other than the other than that, that this comes up with Android Marshmallow features. So with Android Marshmallow, now the app's gonna take the permission from the user whenever they're gonna use a service. So if suppose an app is going to use your location, then it's gonna give a pop-up and 
asking you to authorize that usage and you can choose which apps gonna use which permissions and you can modify them at any time so for example if I'm going to open say uh, Google Chrome and see which permissions this app use so this app uses only the storage permissions <coughs> if I want I can turn on the camera contacts locations mics and other features and this app <coughs> sorry will not use these features till I decide other than this the battery backup of Android Marshmallow has been significantly improved thanks to the dose feature that they have added with the dose feature the phone goes up into a deep sleep and it is kept idle and the battery lane is very small which is working very good in this build as well uh, you can see the battery performance and if you see the flat region in here is the region this region is actually the region where the phone was kept idle and you see there's almost no drop of battery in this region so this is something which is very nice so the dose feature is working other than that google on tap is also working very fine and uh, google on tap to demonstrate this feature let's open the mail and see so let's open any mail let's open open this one only and let's take a snapshot of this and yeah so the google on tap has taken a snapshot of this and now it's searching for what's on this screen and it's going to pop up the result and it says nothing on tap yeah this is a problem with google on tap it is not uh working properly and it, it is something that you need to try your luck with so let's try it again with something which is a little more easier for this google service to demonstrate so let's open say what should i open so let's open another email so yeah, let's try it here because we have some text here and now it takes a snapshot of what's on the screen and yeah this time it comes up with surface book and surface pro so yeah it's working but it's not working all the time so that's what i was also trying to say so the reason why the surface book and surface pro come up with the tiles and it has the links to google youtube wikipedia etc etc and you can search those links if you want further information the reason why this came up was because we have surface book and surface pro on the screen and but this feature is a nice addition to the marshmallow but it's not working properly uh, maybe because it's the initial stages and this is something which google will fix over the time and this is a feature that has great potential so overall i like the performance of the phone the battery is working fine the apps are working fine I'm liking this build. If anyone is interested in installing this phone on their Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 I'm going to put a video on how to install this. And you can check out that video. I'm going to update the links in the description as soon as I upload the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and share. If you thought the video was of any use, then please do share. And that's it for this video.